Hey everybody, today Jimmy Dix International Eats is going to Poland and we are going to make cabbage rolls. You know the people of Poland have really perfected this recipe so this recipe today is 100% Polish. So what you see I got here is a head of cabbage. I got two actually. You want to get a good strong knife and you want to hold it with your thumb like that at an angle, oops, or not. It depends on how tough this cabbage is. Being very careful of your fingers, you want to core it. Which is what I'm attempting to do. There we go. We got that out, and I'm going to core it a little bit more. You don't have to do this, but I found it works great on letting the water get down in there. Okie doke. So, I got a pot of water going, and I'm going to submerge it in there and core out my other one. I'll show you what it looks like once the water gets to boiling good and how easy these things peel. If you think you're going to peel them without boiling the cabbage first, you're just going to be disappointed. So, <laughs> I'll show you what that looks like. So you see my cabbage is like cooking. Now this is the time intensive part of it. See how easily they peel off? And you want to let them cook for a little bit so that they get really Pliable. Now this could take a while, and plus I'm at high altitude, so I'm gonna turn it. And my pan's small, dag on it. So it's called adapting and overcoming. Look at that. There we go. Here's the first one I did. Still not quite done enough. So. I'm going to let this continue to go, and I will let you know when the next step is ready. So the next step is we're going to parboil one cup of rice. Parboil means we're going to like cook it halfway through, not all the way. So this is, who cares how much water, because we're going to dump it out and rinse it anyway. So bring it to a boil, and then add your rice and set your timer for 10 minutes and just stir it occasionally. That's all you gotta do. Bam, and booyah. So, before you send me a nasty email, I understand that all you rice cookers out there know you never stir rice when it cooks. The difference here is, we're not cooking rice, we're parboiling it. We're gonna cook it halfway through. And if we did not stir it, it would clump together. So my timer just went off, it's been 10 minutes. So let's bring it to the sink. There we go. Because we are gonna drain this. Then we are gonna rinse it in cold water. Two reasons why we're doing that. First one to stop the cooking process. And the second is to rinse off the starch so that it does not stick together. So we wanna combine this in our sauce, I mean not in our sauce, in our meat mixture so that um, it can incorporate throughout. You don't want big clumps of rice. All right, I'll check back with you. So this in this pan here is two onions chopped up. They were very like a small medium. Then I put a tablespoon of butter and about a teaspoon of oil. And I'm gonna cook these slowly because I don't want them to turn black. I don't want them, I just want them to turn a golden brown and still be soft. We don't want them raw because who wants to chomp into a raw onion in a 
cabbage roll, which by the way, I'm going to try and say it in Polish what cabbage roll is. It is goblaki. Goblaki. There you go. You learn something every day. So, anyhow, that's what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to put a pinch of salt to help sweat it, but not really flavor. And once these are golden brown, I'm going to set them aside to cool. And I want them cooking my beef when I start to mix them. So I'll check back with you. Okay, now to our filling. This is two pounds of ground beef. 80 to 85 percent works great. So we're going to add our rice, which I cool. Remember it's just parboiled. This is a half a teaspoon of black pepper, two teaspoons of salt, two tablespoons of paprika. Let's get in there. Our onions that I let cool. And then finally, two eggs. Then we're going to use our flesh mitts that God gave us, and we're going to mix it all up. This stuff, mm, you're going to love it. All right. Well, you don't need to see me mix, so once I'm all mixed up and ready to go, I'll check back. All right, with I'm you. all mixed up. <laughs> so you can see this big old rib here. It's really tough. So I'm going to cut it and trim it back a lot to make it thin like the rest of the cabbage. You can see how much I took off there. Then I'm going to put a wee slice in it. <coughs> I'm going to flip it over so that it wants to curl towards me. And then this is like two tablespoons scoop. Pack it in there tight. Put it right in the center. And then you're going to fold it over. Pull it back tight, tight, tight. Then you're going to fold it over this way, folding it out long, and then this way. And then we're going to roll it up as just as absolutely as tight as you can. Now, there you go, look at that perfect little bundle of goodness. So now we're going to put them in the pan. So this is the same pan that I was boiling them in. We're going to put this little flap seam side down. All right? And I'm going to continue on with the rest. I'll show you what it looks like when I get Where'd it. Would you look at that? Would you just look at it? Look how pretty them are. Mm -mm -mm. So this is my cabbage rolls, all rolled up. I use both heads of cabbage, except for the really, the small core, because it's the leaves are too small to roll. So far, I've been working on this for about two hours. So just so you know, this is why people don't make them that often. They're a little bit, take a little bit of time, but they are so worth it. So let me push this to the side. It's time for the sauce. This is one five ounce can of tomato paste and one teaspoon of salt, oh, sugar. And then I have water that is super hot, that is just below boiling. And we're going to pour this in here. Pour. If you speak English, pour is the word. There's really no measurement to this. And if you need to, you can double it up. You just want to make sure that it's combined. Mmm, it smells good. Of course, tomato paste is very rich. The only reason I added more is because I want to submerge my cabbage rolls. So let's bring them back. We're really going to pour this all over. Maybe a hair more water. Not much, as I still see some on the side here. 
get up out of my glass. Okay, now they're not submerged. However, now comes my secret. Sauerkraut. So we're gonna dump it in there. Once again with our fingers, we're just gonna make sure and cover it all. Now I'm gonna put a weight on this. Some people, they put leftover cabbage leaves on it or something else or some, you know, you can do plates. I don't really have one that's safe for the oven because they're gonna bake this actually. But you wanna weigh it down. So this is just a little round stone. And I'm gonna give her a little press of dew. And that'll stop them from expanding as the meat cooks and unrolling. We don't want that to happen. So I got my oven preheated to 350. I'm gonna put that lid on there. And I'm gonna stick them in the oven for two hours. And I will show you what they look like. All right, I just took this out of the oven. Let's have a look, see, shall we? Ooh. Very, very steamy. Yum city. Let's take one of these. Look at that. Mm -mm. All right. We still got an hour before dinner, so I will show this to you when I plate it ah, up. Ah, scram. Check it out. black key. Mm, mm, mm. Hope you give it a shot. Please try it. If you like it, say why I liked it. Leave me a comment. Whatever. Peace out. Jimmy did.